Today we are going to write a simple smart contract and deploy it to the Polygon network so everyone who is watching this video will be able to interact with the contract and you know even build an app on top of it. I am not going to teach any languages but I am going to focus on the overall process of deploying a smart contract and of course I will make sure that I share the code and the link to the smart contract and everything else in the description box. But you, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Alright, on that note, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to understand is the smart contracts, especially on Polygon or any Ethereum based chain or even Ethereum for that matter, are written in Solidity. Now you may go ahead and install Solidity on your own machine. But instead, uh, today we'll be using a web based IDE provided by Ethereum itself. And we'll be using that to write a basic contract, a basic counter contract, uh, which basically counts how many times the number has been increased. We will compile that contract uh, and we will deploy it on the Polygon chain. And I'll link the Polygon chain and everything and show you how to increase that number. All right, let's get started now again. <laughs> so first thing that you need to do is go to HTTPS remix dot ethereum dot org all right so this is the this is the address of the web id provided by ethereum so once we open that it's going to ask you a few questions it will have it will have some sort of workspace available for you already whenever you create a workspace it sort of opens with a bunch of things already there what we're going to do is we are going to write our own contract the first contract that we're going to write so just go here on the contracts folder all right uh, and just right click and click new file and write for underscore uh, i'll i'll create the create the contract called counter so that's what i'm going to name it counter dot sol sol for solidity now just copy and <laughs> copy this code as it is like there's nothing much to explain one thing that I, that i i can do is i can just copy stuff from here uh, and i'll just use let's say pragma solidity whatever right so just copy stuff from here and just put it here i'm going to uh, license mine as mit license so that you know anyone can use it and it's not really that big a deal um great so once you copy the couple of lines initially you can just write contract and then space counter and open and close so contract is like a class in an object oriented language if you know what i mean uh, so we'll declare one variable here now which stores the count for our counter which will be an unsigned int unsigned integer all right so it it will start from zero and only increase uh, we will make this public so that anyone can access this without spending any gas or anything <laughs> and we'll call it count and we'll initialize it with the value zero next thing we'll do is we'll create a function by writing function we'll call this function as increment all right uh, this function again will be public so that anyone can interact with this function this function returns uh, an, an unsigned int and in the function we just increase the count by one and then we return the count all right so this is the extent of solidity that you need to understand for this video uh, the pragma solidity this thing basically means that this is going to work only with this compiler this compiler version number so uh, if you're just watching the this like right now or like whenever i will upload the video just leave it like that otherwise just go ahead and copy it from here uh, it's going to be similar okay uh, the license identifier that just tell that just tells everyone else what what is the license for the code right and then I've written the small solidity code. Now, once I've done that, I'll make sure that I've selected counter.sol and I'll go to this, this weird looking icon. Okay. Uh, basically, this is a compiler thing. Uh, this is basically the compiler in the ID. Uh, and I can just go ahead and compile the file and voila, it works. Okay. So we have compiled our solidity file uh if you know java or c or c plus plus it's very similar uh you compile you get a file and then you run that file on a in case of java a virtual machine 
so similarly we compiled our solidity code we've got the byte code as you can see over here and then we'll run this byte code on the EVM ethereum virtual machine okay so uh, the couple of things that we need from solidity uh, are ABI and byte code and we will need both of these to deploy the contract that we've just compiled so just keeping this thing as is we will not interfere with this and what we're going to do is we're going to open sublime text now that we have our sublime text open what we're going to do is create an index file index.html file deploying counter to polygon that's the title that i'll have now one thing that we will need is this thing called web3.js so on github you will find a very simple way to install web3.js just uh, you know copy the script tag and uh, put it here in the head okay and another thing probably that you will you should do is once you cd into counter you open the simple http server so this this command basically starts a simple http server uh, on the port 8000 so i can go to localhost port 8000 uh, great so we have the server running now we need to write some javascript code which helps us deploy this thing there are two things that uh, basically we need to do uh, to actually deploy this um, to polygon the first is connect metamask to our site and get the user's address second is deploy the bytecode so one thing that i'll do is i'll go back to my web page i'll open the console uh, and i'll i want to show you two things uh, one is small w web3 so this web3 is injected by metamask uh, onto the web page right and the other one that we have Im imported through the script tag that's capital w web3 all right so the next thing that we do is basically paste this code which checks whether uh, ethereum object on the window is present which is injected by metamask all right and if it is present what we do is we request for the accounts um, from the metamask or whoever has injected the ethereum uh, object and uh, we request for their account addresses uh, and to connect their metamask or their wallet um, to our website and then we move forward you must have noticed that we are using async uh, await over here so we will have to put this in an async function um, and that's how we do it again this is not a language tutorial we are just moving forward as we can as quickly as we can all right now now that i have saved it i'll go and refresh and as soon as i hit refresh um, you've seen you could see that you know this is trying to connect to my metamask the website is trying to connect to my metamask right this is how every other app also does it uh, i click next and i connect and the connection has been made all right there are a bunch of warnings right now and you don't need to worry about that a lot uh, especially when you're just deploying a small contract now another thing that we needed to do was uh, sort of get the account details all right uh, so this is how we had gotten the authorization and this is how we get the account details through this we get get an array of all the accounts um, that we have sort of authorized all right connected uh, so we get the we get the array like this and then after that we go to account and we take the first element and just save it in an account variable there's a plane going uh it's interfering with the noise <sighs> all right now that we have uh the account address and everything all right next thing we need to do is just write some code which helps us deploy so i'm going to create a function just copy paste that function over here in the interest of time uh, so that once we call that function the deployment starts happening so the next thing that i've done is created this deploy function uh, 
uh, and I've taken this code directly from uh, Web3.js's documentation. So here I went to contract and then I went to deploy and just read this and figured out the code. I'll explain it to you what, what's going on over here. So the first thing is that we create a deploying contract. Okay. So this needs two things, ABI, uh, ABI and bytecode. ABI is basically an interface that you tell the web3 that this is how you interact with this contract so ABI lists all the methods that are available and a few more other things um, and then the bytecode is the actual code that the compiler has given us that we give to EVM to the chains and then we can also deploy the contract with some arguments contracts can have constructors which are like if you understand what constructors are that is exactly what we can put over here um, otherwise just let's move on we can also get the estimate of the gas that will be required um, and then uh, once we do that what we do is we find the deployed contract so we send uh, this this contract deploying contract we send a transaction towards it from our account with the estimated gas all right once the transaction succeeds uh, we will get the address of the contract one thing that I think we should do is I'll just put it over here. Uh, I'll also console log this address. All right. Great. So now we need ABI and bytecode that we can find from Remix. Uh, remember Remix, the IDE, <laughs> right? So we had compiled this, okay, with whatever data that we have. Uh, at the end it says ABI and bytecode all right so we click on ABI first okay uh, and let me open a new file and I see this is basically the ABI the exact ABI that we need to put directly over here in the deploy function so we can just copy paste this and uh, create put it in a variable and then just you know move on deploy and the other thing is bytecode now for bytecode what we see is uh, it also is an object but there are a bunch of other things what we are only interested in is this object key so let me just put the json syntax the object key over here has the bytecode so we will copy this bytecode we'll remove everything else we'll create a string we paste the copied bytecode we add a 0x in front all right and this is the value that we will have to provide uh, as the bytecode over here in the deploy function all right great so now we have both the things uh, let's make sure that we have saved it first yes let's refresh the page and now uh, let's get the ABI all right so I go here I click on copy and it says copied value to clipboard pretty slow and I press enter okay now I have the ABI now the other part is bytecode okay so for bytecode, let me just do some pre-processing over here for the string, although this, this is going to be the one. But again, I want to show you show it to you again. I'll just paste it here. I'll add 0x over here uh, and I'll be like var bytecode is equal to this and then remove everything else. Copy the damn thing and paste it here. So this is the complete bytecode that we will deploy. Great. Now that we have both the things time for the moment of truth now we need to call this function all right we can have a button which when pressed you know calls this function otherwise what we'll do is we'll just write await deploy abi that we have de de uh, defined and bytecode that we have also defined and we press enter and now we're waiting for the transaction all right so it has popped up and it says do you want to send this amount and i say confirm and it's polygon it's a little jammed right now so it might take some time but uh, otherwise it should be pretty fast transaction completed now it says the address of contract is this and i can also see the address over here okay so i'll just copy the address and uh, I'll go to polygonscan.com and here I paste the address okay and you'll see that it is a contract now I've deployed this contract earlier so um, 
that is why you know the code is already present in everything looks like i can't verify it again um but just to explain the process what happens is uh, there's a verify button over here you press it you fill in the details make sure that you you're filling in everything as provided here so make sure the compiler is whatever you have selected over here uh, make sure the evm version is the same the language is same the optimizations and everything all of these are all of these should be exactly same and provided that to polygon scan and once you do that um, it should work like as is it should work without a problem all right so we have already given um, the verification because i've done it earlier so now what we can do is you can see that it says read contract and the count currently says zero because we have just deployed the contract we have not made any changes to it and then there's a write contract and then um there's only one method over there called increment so i click click on connect to web3 i click on metamask uh, you know connect my metamask and everything okay sure all right now i click on write now if there were some arguments or anything it would have asked me for those but there are there's nothing like that so i just need to press this button and it should ideally call the increment function so when i press this button it says there's a transaction fee involved for this because of course you know you need to pay gas to increment that value so i say yes uh, now it says view your transaction. I don't think it has gone through yet uh, But hopefully it should go through in any minute now and it it has it has gone through the transaction has gone through and now we go back to read contract uh, And the value should have been one over here and now we'll have to sort of wait uh, for the transactions to propagate I guess uh, It shouldn't have taken that long but yeah now that i refresh like after a couple of minutes i see that the value has turned one now so you know everyone who's out there i'll just put this link um in the comments go ahead go to write com write contract and click on write and uh, increase the co counter and i want to see how many people do this uh i've done once so whoever else does it uh, the counter will increase by increase by one you can actually do it multiple times um and i can see the transactions over here so it will show you that this is coming from me it, and who else is you know and getting involved in this and whatnot all right so i think uh, yeah this was uh, my video for today uh, we created a small um, solidity program count uh, which basically take, keeps a count of increments uh, we compiled it uh, and then we created a simple web page to first connect to metamask and then deploy using that metamask so what happened over here is uh, this deploy function um, it sort of sends a transaction so deploying is nothing else but sending a transaction on the chain um, with some specific kind of data all right so we have added all those things uh, we have we've sent this send that transaction once the transaction succeeds uh, we realize that our contract is already there uh, and then we can interact with this I can read the the current state and I can take action on any method that is available which is increment at this point nothing else on that note thank you so much um, for sticking around watching the video uh, in the next week uh, we will you know continue from here and do a few other things uh, that I don't want to reveal right now because I haven't decided yet <laughs> but anyway um, it's going to be on, on similar lines uh, probably we'll interact using JavaScript or something like that but I don't know uh, on that note make sure that you again you know hit hit like and subscribe and comment and whatnot it really helps me out and yeah see you next week bye bye